Hello there, guys. Welcome back to another short online tutorial. As always, it's Jack, one of the tutors at Blue Sky Graphics. It's my pleasure to welcome you here today. And we're based in Photoshop, guys. The reason why we're here today, guys, is to discuss the style transfer filter within neural filters. What we can do now is we can transfer styles from certain images, and many images, and apply them to our images that we can use within our designs. I have an example in front of you here where I've used an image and I've used a style from another image and applied it here to get this type of effect. And what I'd like to do today is make it a little bit more clearer for you to how to use this particular tool. Okay, so what I've got is the original image open up on another tab. Now with the layer highlighted, what I'm gonna do is go to filter. And as you can see, we have neural filters here. Okay, in previous videos, I've gone through a number of these um, neural filters, so go check them out. But the one we are focusing on today is style transfer. So let's turn on the uh, filter here, like so. Perfect. And we have two categories. We have the artistic styles and the image styles. So now if I was to select any of these, Photoshop will transfer the style of these particular images and apply it to my design. So let's say, for instance, I go for this one here. Perfect. As you can see now, you can apply these different styles to your imagery. One of the benefits of using uh, style transfers also as well is you can manipulate and dictate and design the style to your particular needs and requirements. You've got the options here at the bottom. So you've got strength. So what we can do now is really increase the strength here to 100 can be quite a stark and noticeable uh, difference, as you can see. But obviously, let's bring this down now. I think style opacity, what we can do is bring that down now so we can start to bring back the details of the, the image, bring the opacity down on the particular style. And you can see now the features of the people are coming back a little bit. We have the background here that we can manipulate and change. The detail. We have the background blur that we can add. I don't think the background blur will be nice within this particular image, if I'm if I'm honest. Yeah, okay, but as you can see now, Photoshop is registering that these are the main um, elements of our image here, and it's acting, adding a background blur. What I want to say is I'm not a fan of it on this particular um, image. Now, obviously, here we have brightness. So, yes, you can increase the brightness of your, your designs now and your imagery and decrease the brightness if you're interested. And we have the saturation here that we can manipulate. So if I want to take the saturation down, for instance, which will take the saturation out of our image, there we go. And obviously we can increase that and improve the saturation, let's say. Okay, so now we have the image styles that we can use. So we can apply these kind of styles now to our imagery. So I quite like the first one here. This was, this was the effect that I showed you earlier. And what I'll do now is apply that style to our imagery. Very, very nice. Now, what I want to do now is bring up the style opacity a little bit here. Like, so I want to bring more of the style through. Fantastic. And as you can see now, if we were to zoom in using the zoom tool, you can see the waves from that particular image being applied. What we may even do now is increase the strength a little bit on that. Just to bring that through just a little bit more. There we go. Can you see now the waves from there now being applied to the trees? Really cool effect. And obviously what we're able to do is use our own image and own imagery to um, transfer the style from. Well, obviously we have the preset ones that Photoshop give us that we can manipulate and change, but obviously we should be able to, and we are allowed to upload our own imagery. So if we come to custom here, what I'm gonna do is select image. I'm not gonna choose that one there. That was our uh, effect earlier, uh, original image. So what I'm doing now is select an image from our computer. Fantastic. Save the Picasso image here like so from earlier. And we're gonna say, use this image. And let Photoshop do its work and figure it out. And there we go. We have now applied that image and that style to our imagery. Obviously what I'll do now is affect the style opacity a little bit, bring that down. 
let's make that a little bit softer, for instance. And maybe bring the strength down a little bit. And maybe bring down the saturation a tad also as well. And we also have the last thing I'll talk to you about is your output settings. So we can either add it to a new current new layer mask, smart filter, new document, mainly focus on the main first two ones here. We can affect the current layer or we can apply it to a new layer. So for this instance here, what we'll do is apply it to a new layer and we'll press OK. And as you can see now, we have applied a certain style to our image. If you're interested in finding out more about Blue Sky Graphics, the school, our tutors, our courses, please don't hesitate visiting our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also check out our Instagram at Blue Sky Graphics UK for some of our amazing work by our talented, very talented students. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and I'll see you next time.